what was interesting, maybe I wasn't strong enough when I say you copy exactly what you see because there yeah. were p other offers, yeah, so yeah. other things being choreographed unintentionally. Yeah, so, see. like, there was that, that little thing there, yeah. or like when you did that, and uh, some people, like, the way I just showed it, yeah, did, uh, did <laughs> yeah. that. So, that, that has to now be part of the new school, there's a new choreography yeah. around that. Yeah. So, things get taken away, but things also get added. But what I what I observed was that you were very people would seem to be quite sure. You no, know, there's the real movement that I know I'm supposed to copy, and I see that that's a tick of the participant, yeah, and I'm not, not going to copy yeah. that. So yeah. you're editing. You're so in control of the um, creation and editing and re-editing. It's a very complicated thing that you're doing just in copying. Mm -hmm. And you're not just copying. Mm -hmm. You've made some loads of decisions, Choice. micro mm -hmm. yeah, micro choices and micro decisions. Uh, uh, who was quite a cool guy, he's called Isaac Isimov Dulas. And he got brought in to work with the American nuclear, nuclear uh, defense force. Because they were really stuck. They were in a moment where they were like, oh man, our oh, thinking on nuclear defence missiles has really slowed down. There was this particular glipar, particular uh, um, part of the government that was working on innovation and creativity for nuclear defence systems. Which I, I really like this idea because it's also a saying that creativity doesn't belong to artists. You know, even nuclear de defence missile people think that they're creative or, or start to use it. And they um, got this guy in to say, Isaac, what's going on? You know, we've plateaued. We're completely not creative anymore. And, what, and we bought all these amazing people. And like I bought Flavio, and I bought Giovanni, and I bought uh, Joshua, and, I bought, and, they're, and they're in a room, and they're, they're not coming up with anything. We're spending lots of money. What's going on? So he's like, oh, OK, let's have a look. So he starts to observe them. And when they were in their cubicles, um, Doing their, doing their ideas and coming out, they were coming out with fantastic stuff. The idea had been, let's get all these amazing people together, and surely that will mean times 100, you know, brilliance, brilliant brains, times squared, whatever. It wasn't happening, it was rubbish, it wasn't working. And he was observing them, and essentially, really, the answer was that creativity is embarrassing. It is embarrassing, you have to come up with a million shit ideas before you get to a good one. And they were not prepared to do that in front of each other. When they were on their own, that was fine. They were just kind of screwing and coming up with great stuff, yeah, yeah, that was good. But together they were like, clam up. So we do this kind of exercise at the beginning of the day, to just basically, let's get that out of the way, right? Everyone's made a tit of themselves in front of each other. Now that the embarrassment's out of the way, let's get on and have a really productive and creative day. Voila! Yay! <laughs>